Welcome to our presentation on a web-based eye-tracking data visualization tool. This work has been developed in a visualization course by first-year bachelor students in eight weeks of time at the Technical University of Eindhoven in the Netherlands. My name is Michael Bursch. I was the responsible lecturer in the visualization course and I am working now at the University of Applied Sciences in Coor in Switzerland in the research fields of information visualization, visual analytics, data science, and eye tracking. Eye tracking data provides insights in many research fields, like public transport map design, text reading, or even complex visual analytics systems, to mention a few. Visualizing the recorded eye tracking data is a challenging task if we do not have well designed tools that support several perspectives on the data. Moreover, it is a good idea to have an easily accessible web application that combines the visualizations and supports interactive linking. This is in particular of interest if various users have to be attracted and those can easily work with the tool just by typing in a URL in their web browser. There is a lot of related work in the field of eye tracking data visualization. A recent state of the art report describes several of the approaches differing in the ways which stimuli types are considered and which kind of data is visualized. Moreover, the way how it is visualized also plays a crucial role for finding insights in the eye tracking data. Here you see five examples like gay stripes, top left, fixation image charts, top right, space time cubes, bottom left, color bands, bottom center, and the AOI rivers at the bottom right. Our tool supports the upload of eye tracking data via zip files, which contain two components the recorded eye movement data as well as the stimuli in the form of static images. Moreover, the, tool, the data gets first checked for the correct format and completeness as well as internal consistency by comparing it with the tool's specific data template. We support several kinds of clusterings, taking into account areas of interest that can be manually selected, as well as further options like mean shift, k-means, or a hierarchical density-based variant called HDB scan. Furthermore, the number of clustering approaches can easily be extended and integrated in the tool by the users. Our heat map data is based on fixation points by defining a grid of a certain user adaptable size. A value is first determined for each cell for obtaining an intensity which results in a scalar field that can further be smoothed to make it more aesthetically appealing. Before starting the tool, all of the data processing and clustering is cached. This has the benefit that delays are mitigated to achieve a better and more responsive user interaction. This would finally improve the user experiences. Here you can see the graphical user interface and the supported visualizations. All views are exchangeable and various parameters can be modified. Interactions are integrated in all views and all of them are linked. Stimuli from the uploaded dataset can be selected while the tool automatically starts to prepare and process the data for the supported visualizations. The AOI timeline shows all user selected area of interest vertically with attached timelines for each AOI. 
the time axis runs from left to right, and for better comparisons with other views, we use the same color coding for the AOIs as in the AOI definition view. Each rectangle shows the fixation duration for one or more participants as the horizontal extent. In this way, the AOI timeline provides a great overview about AOIs and the visual attention over time. A gaze plot is a standard eye tracking data visualization that shows the scan paths over plotted on a stimulus. It is a spatial temporal visualization, shows the order of fixations, the fixation durations, and also the individual participants. However, the biggest issue is visual clutter, the state in which excess items or their disorganization lead to a degradation of performance at some task. In this figure, you can see two scan paths by a red colored user and a magenta colored user. And already those two scan paths produce some kind of overdraw and visual clutter. On the other hand, a heat map does not contain visual clutter, but can lead to misinterpretations due to the fact that the time participant information is lost. However, heat maps are easy to read and provide contextual information by an overlay on the stimulus. With this overlay, the hotspots of visual attention can easily be mapped to the elements given in the static stimulus. Moreover, regions of less interest can also be easily recognized. In the example figure here, you can see three red color-coded hotspots on a public transport map. A scarf plot shows the areas of interest that participants gazed at over time by stacking them horizontally as well as vertically. It is some kind of simplification of the time-dependent data and provides a temporal overview. Multiple participants can be shown at once. Participant groups can be selected and in an advanced version even participant clustering based on time-dependent AOI patterns can be applied. However, the number of displayable AOIs is limited and there is no temporal pattern alignment. In our tool, we support several interaction techniques. Those interaction techniques are based on the taxonomy by Yi et al. Examples are tapping, or mouse clicking functionality, selecting certain rectangular segments of interest, linking all views, saving as image with a legend embedded, zooming in and out, details on demand, filtering for space, time and participants, and many many more. For our web application, we choose Vue with a combination of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. The front end communicates with the Flask back end on which a bokeh server is running for interactive visualizations in the web browser. The content is rendered on the server side to avoid lots of computations on the user's devices. This makes the application more user friendly. In conclusion, we presented an online tool to assist with the analysis of eye tracking data. We support several interactive visualizations to reach this goal. The user is able to upload own data and to choose a clustering method from a given repertoire to allow an analysis of the data in different ways. Moreover, the user can easily extend the tool by adding further functionality. For future work, we plan to conduct a user study, maybe again with eye tracking, to assess the simplicity, usability and practicality of the tool. The major focus is on performance for a more responsive design. We would like to add further visualization as well as interaction techniques.
Thank you for your attention. I am open for questions now.